Hello everyone! Since the last tutorial was such a success, I've decided to create another Ankhbot tutorial, this time focusing on some silly commands that include things like Cards Against Humanity, giving gifts to random users, and a Magic 8-Ball. These will also use the ra read rand line command that, that, that was used in my previous video, which focused on gambling minigames. However, this will be simpler to set up because we, don't, we won't need to mess with the remove points or add points parameters. So, what I'm going to do is show off a few of these commands by scrolling down. Where are they? Here we go. Here I have the gift. Here I have a gift command, cards against humanity command, and magic eight ball. Magic eight ball is probably up here. Yeah, here we go. The first one I'm going to focus on is cards against humanity. Since I'm assuming you watched the previous video, I won't go into too many details, but I'll give you a quick overview. I, I set up a Cards Against Humanity command with using exclamation point ka up here. I'm allowing everyone to use it. I've put on no permanent cooldown on the command, but rather set up a user cooldown for 15, 15 minutes. And instead I've set up a prompt and a response. Now we're utilizing the read random line command and the location of the file. Again, since this is Ankhbot, you need to make sure where, you, where the file goes is in the right spot. Because if it is not, Ankhbot won't be able to read it and you will have trouble. If you are unsure where your Ankhbot is installed, here's how I do it on Windows 10. I search here, I type in Ankhbot, so I pop up this, and then I go to open file location. This will pop up where your Ankhbot, this is, will pop up where your Ankhbot's installed. You need to put all your files here, otherwise it will have trouble reading them. Don't, don't make that mistake. If you watched my previous video, I already explained that, so, but in case you didn't, I wanted to clarify that, because that will be your biggest problem. Now I'm going to pop up my notepad files for Cards Against Humanity, white cards, and black cards, right here. I'm going to full screen this. Now I, have, now I have one list for Cards Against Humanity, the white cards, right here. It has, a, it has almost every single card from the, pre, first, from the original and the six expansions, right here. You see there's over a thousand of them. In, my, in the video description below, there's going to be paste bins of all of these files to make your life easy, so you can just copy and paste it. This wasn't too hard to compile, but I want to make your guys' life easier. And over here we have the Cards Against Humanity black cards. I have it so the Cards Against Humanity black cards only include like the single prompt. So it needs only one white card essentially. So, you're not, so there's no haikus or anything. Because Ankhba has no way to read this and understand like, oh, this one needs two white cards. So I'm working within the limitations. And also, since the bot's going to be pulling them at random, it is simply much easier to let, to not get nonsensical responses. But yeah, compared to previously with the gambling, all you need is just the words. You, just the words. You don't need to set up an add points or remove points. So you, per, the parameters for that. You, all you need is just to copy and paste this into a note, notepad file, a text file, and, and save it in the appropriate spot. So that's all you'll need to do when you copy paste off the paste bin. Now I'm going to pop up, pop up this and see how I have it set up. What I have is a prompt that I'm using the read rand, read rand line command and then I have the location of the file. If you want the location of the file, let's say you want the location of the card against mini black card. If you go to properties, you can get, the, you can get your location right here so you don't have to type it. Because it's very easy to get the slashes mixed up, I understand that. So you do that, you use you use the read ran line command as follows. How I have a setup is a prompt, which is your black card, and then the response is the white card. You can also do it separately, how I have a black card, and then have it, like your chat all type in, use a card against me, any white card, and judge whichever is best. I prefer it self contained. You can set it up to your channel as you see fit. Now, I'm going to switch over to streamer, and I'm going to type in cards, cards against humanity to see how it works. Prompt. What kept Margaret Thatcher busy in her winning years? The Hellman's Mayonnaise Corporation. So, if you want to have your chat do some... So if you want your chat... If you, if you don't care about a game for horrible people being in your chat, Cards Against Humanity is a good way to do it. But Cards Against Humanity is just one way. It's just one fun command you can use. I have a few others. Let's take a look at the gift command. Right here. Now with this one... Hang on. As you see, it says user hands, and that reads the read ran line to type put in the word. 
to rand user rand user essentially will just pick someone who's watching your chat and that'll be the person who is the recipient of the item because the items because rand user does not necessarily eliminate the user the user may hand something to themselves keep in mind that's a thing but here is how gift works you want to use it I handed a bomb to myself so it's I'll show off like my text file for gift literally you can just type in whatever you want and just have whatever you want passed around it's not too, it's nothing I don't have this one isn't super fancy but it's a thing Ankhbot can do and it's a fun unique thing if you want it but you can always add in your own things it doesn't have to be exactly like mine for this again I'll put this in a paste bin if you guys happen to want this but I get the feeling you guys want the cards against humanities one ones a lot more and another one I want to show off is it is the eight ball command I always find eight balls eight ball command pretty interesting honestly anyway with this one, it's set up very similar. Read ran, reads the ran, read ran line command. So again, you just get your location file, where you put the text file, and you put it here. But you notice I have dummy in front of this. What this means is, if I try and type in eight ball and nothing after it, it's it won't do anything. So instead, you have to type in eight ball and ask a question. So how is the eight ball today? I'm going to type in. Oh, I put on a cooldown. Now, hang on. I can fix that. Let's get rid of the cooldown temporarily. But you see how I typed an 8-ball and it didn't do anything? So, if I do 8-ball and... How is the 8-ball today? Okay, apparently it's still on cooldown. Let's see. There's a solution to this. You just close your bot. This is a way around OnkBot if you whatever rig it to do what you see fit just turn it on and off again it's it's like the old school way eight ball how are you today eight ball and i asked the magic eight ball question and it says shakes its own magic eight ball is decidedly so that's what my magic eight ball says anyway i have it set up so you're supposed to only ask it yes no question so you shouldn't really be asking how are you eight ball anyway the big thing with 8-Ball is just to have the dummy command so someone just doesn't spam 8-Ball and not ask a question, essentially. I have mine set up so it answers only yes-no questions, because as you can tell, the response to this one was a bit, uh, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. The 8-Ball asks another 8-Ball, asks another 8-Ball. It's 8-Ballception. Now you can see how I have the 8-Ball set up right here. There are two ways you can do this. You can also have it set up, much like with the gambling, and have it so it uses the remove points command to pay to use the magic eight ball. I had it this way previously, but I found a lot of people didn't use it, so I switched it to be free. Because the cards against humanity was free and the eight ball not being free was it, making it cost money was a deterrent to using it. However, if you did want to have a setup set up to remove points, well, here's how you use the remove points command. Again, you just make it from the user, you make it so it takes away ten a ten azurans or ten currency from each person, and then you then you just have the responses in quotes here, where the user pays X value to use the magic eight ball and all their various responses. And then you just need a response in case they don't have enough, so they don't go below zero in currency. And that a false command, just in case for some reason it tries computing it and it and then smoke starts coming out on bot's ears. I go into more detail about how the remove points command works in my gambling videos. I'll have that probably linked in the description below if you are more interested in the setup and using your having your currency have value. I will have all these files. All these files will be in paste bins. So if you want to set it up with remove points, it will be very easy. And again, if you if you're going to use this one, if you want to change currency to currency, there's a find and replace command somewhere. Replace yeah, so you just type in as currency, and you can put in whatever your version of currency is here, and then replace all. Very simple. Okay, so that those are a f those a few unique commands for your Ankhbot, should you want to change it up and not have everyone gamble the whole time. I hope this video helps everyone out as much as the previous one has, and may you have fun giving your users random something and play again, a game for ho for horrible people within your chat. Until then, I will see you guys next time. 
And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other Ankbot gambling video and to check out my stream sometime. I stream under the username Azuryoshi and my Twitter is also Azuryoshi. I'll have that at the bottom of the video description below if you're interested in seeing how I do things. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Bye bye.